The Daily Wire is producing a new Arthurian TV series based on the books The Pendragon Cycle by Stephen R. Lawhead, and I could not be more thrilled to see this adaptation coming to life. The series is set to premiere sometime in 2024 and will show on The Daily Wire's own streaming network. The company is also producing a rival to Disney's upcoming and highly criticized Snow White, starring conservative YouTuber Brett Cooper in both of their productions. I have a lot to share with you about this upcoming project, and you may not like everything I have to say, but join me to learn more about the new Pendragon Cycle series and much more. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for all the latest news on this series and more. So here on my channel, I cover anything and everything Arthurian. I'm currently covering the series The Winter King. I have also covered films and series such as Cursed, King Arthur Legend of the Sword, The Green Knight, Britannia, and more related to the periods of Roman Britain and beyond. And truly, to see the Pendragon Cycle being adapted almost feels like living in a simulation. I love this book series, but it's a long and detailed one, so it's truly surprising to see The Daily Wire taking this on as one of their first major productions. It seems as though they are planning to make this a well-budgeted and highly produced series based on the photos and videos that they are releasing throughout the filming process. I would say it appears as though they're producing it at a level to compete with series like House of the Dragon or basically top tier level of production. Granted, while they do not have dragons in the Pendragon cycle, they do have, you know, Atlantis. So I really hope we're going to see something amazing here. The timing of this production seems auspicious, as Hafgan would say, because this is such a tumultuous time in Hollywood for writers and actors amidst the strike that has been happening for the better part of the year. However, The Daily Wire is not seeking interim agreements for their productions, which are taking place in Hungary. But we'll get more into the politics of it all later in this video. The Pendragon Cycle is an Arthurian book series written in the 1980s, which spans the period at the end of Roman Britain, portraying the lifetime of the Bard of Britain, Taliesin, through Merlin's lifetime, the birth and death of Arthur, and the culmination of the Grail Cycle. It's a six-part book series, which includes a portion of the first book in Atlantis, which is where Merlin's mother comes from. The series explores the transition from paganism and the old gods of Britain to Christianity, which is a huge part of Arthurian mythology, and includes the gods of Atlantis and even Lilith mythology, which connects to Morgan Le Fay, which you all know I love. Stephen R. Lawhead is educated in theology, which definitely lends itself to his writing. He has been highly acclaimed by the Christian community for his work, though most of his writing is based around historical Celtic Christianity. There are some really beautiful aspects to his storytelling in this regard, and some amazing characters such as the priest Daphid, who appears in this series. So far cast in the series are Rose Reed playing Karis, and I believe she's also a writer on the series, so I'm very excited to see her bring her knowledge and enthusiasm to the role. James Arden playing Taliesin, the Bard of Britain. Brett Cooper playing Ganieda. I'm very excited to see her in this role. Tom Sharp playing Merlin. He looks amazing. Miles Clohessy playing Uther. Emery Franklin playing Morgane and Daniel Considine playing the stunning and impeccable Magnus Maximus, the last Roman emperor in the West, who I have some weird obsession with and talk more about in a video linked right here if you want to check it out. The costumes look incredible so far, with period-accurate clothing and facial hair. The Sword of Britain, which belonged to Magnus Maximus, looks gorgeous with its emblematic amethyst hilt. The casting of these infamous characters is spot on and really is historically accurate to how they should appear. Karis is described as having hair like pale sunlight and bright green eyes. Taliesin is called the Shining One or the Shining Brow and his hair is golden like the sun. Magnus, originally coming from Spain and the Roman Empire, has Mediterranean coloring. So like they are making the effort to be historically accurate and hopefully I won't have so many people leaving racial rhetoric in the comments of my videos for this show. 
I'm always happy to see Arthurian adaptations in any form, but there is no question as to these renditions being used for the past decade or two as a way to interject woke messaging. While Roman Britain would have had some racial diversity, certain series that even I have covered have changed the race of main characters like Arthur, Merlin, and Gawain in order to meet some big media agenda. This has contributed to the failing of each and every Arthurian adaptation for the past 20 years. Sorry, not sorry, but King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, was canceled after the first of what was meant to be a six-part series. Cursed was canceled after one season. And The Green Knight had a delayed release for an entire year during the pandemic, which pretty much killed its marketing momentum. I am an avid Arthurian fan and have unfortunately watched one after another Arthurian revision bomb for years now. It's clear that writers and storytellers love the legends of King Arthur and the possibility for adapting these beloved tales to the screen, but no one's been able to do it in a way that has drawn viewers to their version of the story for a very long time. I think it would be really interesting to see if The Daily Wire is able to draw in a consistent, strong audience with their adaptation in a way that other studios have been unable to do. The Daily Wire is a conservative network and website founded by Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring, the latter being one of the show creatives who has taken time from his position as CEO of the company in order to produce this series. The network is known for producing content like The Ben Shapiro Show and the comments section with Brett Cooper, who is cast in The Pendragon Cycle and the new Snow White movie. The company pushes away from the stifling, woke agenda that has been present in most modern media, which is controlled by the big five media conglomerates, causing more and more independent production companies to start their own projects outside of the limitations of Hollywood and big media like Disney, NBC, Warner Brothers, Paramount, and Netflix. But these are just my thoughts on the new series, The Pendragon Cycle. Let me know yours in the comments below, and be sure to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and consider joining my Patreon to support the work I do here. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm on that Mediterranean diet, so exactly. I'm going to live to 100. He's on that uh, Irish sausage and English sausage <laughs> situation. <laughs>